All right, so welcome back to another Flashback Friday, classic MX throwback, whatever you want to call it. I'm hoping this video goes up on Friday. It should. I'm. It should be up on Friday. Sometimes it's like a really early Saturday upload, but it's still. It's supposed to be up on Friday, and we were supposed to be playing ATB Off Road Fury 2. That's what I wanted to do. I had some issues with recording that, getting that game to run. So we're playing Jeremy McGrath Supercross World. And this is another one of those games that kind of, I never played it. I knew nothing about it until now. So if you play this game, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it or what you thought of it. This is one of those, to me, I always say that I'm just a, a fan of motocross games in general. It doesn't really matter if they're arcadey or if they're sim or if they're in between. I This is one of those games that if I had it, I'd be okay with forgetting. I just feel like this was... A terrible motocross game and if that's offensive to you and this was your childhood I'm so sorry maybe it was a lot more fun then but you know a lot of these classic games coming back to them MX Unleashed almost does not count let's say like Superfly or something like that even Excite Bike which was older than this it was fun coming back to that game those games however you want to say it this one not even playing especially not playing because some of them I haven't they've been fun to me they've been interesting it's like almost like a new game this one was like whoa bad like really weird I mean over some of the jumps you you it feels okay but then sometimes it, it's like you just stayed stuck to the ground also since I'd never played it before there's like collectibles there's like helmets and wrenches and stuff on the track that you can get really arcadey so people that want to complain that uh, games like GP3 or the new Supercross game are too arcadey. You are complaining about spilled milk here. That's ridiculous. Quit complaining all the time over everything because this is arcade. Yes, this game is old. Invisible Wall there, I really don't know. Yes, this game is old. I don't even know when it came out. It's for the PlayStation 2. This is arcade motocross game at its best. Like, unbelievably arcadey with the collectibles in race and just the way... Like, there's a section of loop somewhere. I don't think it's on this one, because we're going to do this race. We're also going to do a national race, and then we're going to do a short supercross race. I kind of threw a, a bunch of different stuff in there and then used some bikes. It does have some real riders. I know Pastrana's in it. I know Sebastian Tortelli's also in it. I think Ezra Lusk might be in it as well. I'm not sure about Langston. It does have some, like, actual pro riders, and it. it's not just Jeremy McGrath, but, I mean, it's his game. He's, like, the face of it, just like uh, Ricky Carmichael and Superfly. But nonetheless, I don't know. I, I I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, it's still fun. It's still fun. I guess I'm kind of contradicting myself. It's still fun. It was still fun to come back to it. The turning was really weird. The cornering. I mean, he... People... I, I don't know what to say. I guess people complain about... It just makes me think of these things. People complain about Encore. That he never sticks his leg out. Well, technically, he does stick his leg out sometimes. And he never sticks his leg out here. And you can give me the argument that, well, it's an older game, so, you know, they, they did the best they could. And, of course, of course they did. But I don't really remember now I was a younger kid then, so I wasn't, I wasn't as in the motocross game community as I feel like I am now. So maybe people were complaining back then, but I just feel like people weren't complaining like they are now. He doesn't stick his leg out in this game either. When you lean back in the whoops, I might have said this already, or never, maybe I didn't finish my comment because I get sidetracked so badly, and I know that annoys people, but when you lean back in the whoops, he doesn't, you, you can't really lean back. And then did you see when we went over that? It just, it's just massive gravity, gravity times 20 sometimes when you go over some of these jumps. Now, there are tricks, and I kind of slowly start to figure out how to do the tricks a little bit. It's kind of weird because I'm playing on a Xbox controller, and everything's mapped out for a PlayStation, so it's... It's really weird. Also, the A button is the throttle and not triggers, so everything's really wonky the way it's set up. But here, no air, no air, just kind of, it's like BMX, you know, when they're rolling over the, the jumps and stuff. That's what it feels like, but then you can get, like, massive air right there. I'm not 100% sure. Now, if I use, like, the trigger, yeah, I think it was, I think it was the left or right trigger. It didn't matter. I don't think it was the bumper. And then move the analog stick in one direction or the other. You could do some tricks, and we'll do some. They look, uh, you know, they're okay. I know we do a whip a couple times, and moving the analog stick isn't what gives you whips, which that doesn't surprise me considering what the game is and when it came out. Actually, if you know, I'd be curious because I'm, I'm trying to decide what to compare it to at the time. There was a whip. There was a whip. 
insane, right? Whip physics are on par. Whoops right here, can't lean back. They're just, I don't know. Basically like driving on flat ground and you get the animation of it looking like he's going through whoops. I praise all motocross games. <clears throat> Excuse me, I praise all motocross games, but this is just one that I think was just, just awful. I sound like the people that like to complain about Encore and MXGP games, but it's just, it's terrible. And then, like here in the Nationals, you're you're playing, you're riding, you can hear the bike, but then all of a sudden you'll hear this plain as can be, like bird chirping. Like there's no other sounds, no nothing, no, no whatever, just this, I don't know, it just seems so out of place for me. I guess it's to just show that it's outside, but it seems, I don't know, it seems really obvious to me that the race is, is outside. I don't know, and maybe I'm being too hard on it. Like I said, today's video is actually supposed to be ATV Off-Road Fury 2. There was another one that I was going to do, but I'm still waiting on it. I know some of you are uh, waiting for for Motocross Madness, and that that's coming. Uh, I, like I said, I actually found my, my original PC copy. Like, I have the actual uh, disc for it, so that's going to be coming too. I'm kind of waiting on that one. But I, I like kind of doing the ones that some people haven't heard of. I think there's a couple other Jeremy McGrath games as well. But this was one that was just really easy to get. And everything worked fine and just whatever. Now, I think I never finished the thought about the cornering. The angle, the camera angle feels really weird. First of all, there's like no delay, if you're curious. There's like, there's zero delay when you're turning. It's just this very quick, very abrupt thing. And the camera kind of gets thrown off, which feels... I don't know, it feels really weird in the game. And then you have this bar on the side. I don't know if there's a preload, I couldn't figure it out. I was just kind of mashing buttons a lot of the times and you can kind of lean forward a little bit if you hit a certain button. You'll kind of see it here. I, I think I've been doing it kind of for most of the video already. But uh, I think that bar fills up when you do tricks. Let's see if we land a trick here and if it does it again. I started towards the end of this moto. Now, I'd never actually played this game either. I just started it up, did some races. What I did do was drop it down on difficulty. The difficulty was originally, it's amateur, pro, and then I believe hardcore. And I did, I opened the game up and didn't change any of that. I didn't even notice it. And then didn't even run a quarter of a lap and realized that, okay, I think we gotta drop this, the difficulty down. So I dropped the difficulty down, and then, yeah, see, it's, oh, actually, I don't know, is it, I don't know if that's filling it up or not. So we dropped the difficulty down, and then started playing. Now there are other tracks, stuff was locked, I don't know if there's cheat codes. Okay, yeah, so definitely tricks, definitely tricks. Oh, check it out, when we do a whip, look what it says on the side, it, uh, on the side below the mini-map, it shows you exactly what trick you're doing and stuff like that, and then it says something really stupid with the whip, the Superman 200 points. Not quite making it. I don't know, the tricks are cool. These games always have tricks. I don't know if there's been a motocross game that does. I'm sure there is a motocross game that doesn't have tricks, but for the most part, it's always just kind of part of the racing game. See, check this out. Whip it good, man. It's not even just called the whip. It's whip it good. I don't know, it just seems, it's so cartoony. I mean, it's, it's old, of course it is, but the point I'm trying to get across is people complain about how cartoony they are now and yes we are in the future games should be better but encore say it all you want encore is a thousand times better than this game is i'm sure there's some people out there that this game was way better than encore go ahead and think that you're wrong you're, you're just wrong there's no no argument about it and you can kind of cut the track now i think also that just reminded me the hay bales were first of all the hay bales were actually like hay bales not tough blocks uh the other thing they were invisible. I don't know if that's something I can change and make solid because I know there's a couple games, remember where you could have, how do I want to say this, where you could, you're always on the track. There was like those invisible walls on both sides and they went infinitely up. So if you got off track, it would like bounce you off of it kind of, you'd lose momentum, but it didn't, it, it kept you on the track, I guess is what I'm saying. Supercross 2000, I know had that. That was a game of my childhood on the Nintendo 64. I played the heck out of that game. That's one of the games that kind of got me into it, and I've said that a couple times. But I know that game. I know MX Rider, or Dirt Rider, I forget what the game is called. We'll be playing that eventually, too. I know that game had the option to have the invisible walls up or have them off. And I think with Supercross 2000, 
I don't remember if you could turn them off or not, but I remember that I almost always had them on. I was a really little kid and I sucked at playing Supercross and it was just like, it was a never ending fight with me to try and to stay on the track. So I don't know. This is the last race, just a short little Supercross track. Again, there was other stuff, but I don't remember. I don't know if there was cheat codes. I didn't really look into it. I basically just jumped into the game and, and went with it. It's, it's really easy when we talk about pick up and play games, man. This was classic pick up and play arcade right here. This is, if you think arcade classic pick up and play, this should be next to the definition. A picture of the cover of this game would fit that perfectly because it's just so, so arcadey. I mean, it's so, I don't even know. I don't know what else to say about it. Sometimes I hit some invisible walls. I mean, I think right there, I think right there we actually clipped on the jump a little bit. And I don't really even know if there was a break. I'm sure there was a break, but I couldn't really find it. I never used it. The only, if I was slowing down, I was just kind of letting off the throttle a little bit and being able to turn. And it it just it kind of feels like you're going to turn not as sharp as you really can. I don't know how to explain it. But the physics are so wonky in this. And I mean, if this game came out the same time as Superfly, they were, they were behind. Actually, I don't even know if EA made this one or not. Sorry, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not familiar. I didn't look into it really hard or anything like that, but we've come a long ways. We've come a long ways. Whether you like, like, Encore or not or MXGP games, we've come a long ways, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. We could be better, but considering what we used to have with games like this, not counting, like, Unleashed or anything, or even Superfly. Superfly was 10 times better in this game. I'm happy, and I think motocross games are going to continue to progress and get better even if they're not exactly where you would like them now but that's gonna basically wrap up this video we're about to the finish line so thanks for all the support on this series in general on the channel it really means a lot uh, i can't thank you enough and until the next video take it easy